Well, hello and welcome to episode seven of my London Street Photography series. Number seven is the letter G and uh, where else to come in London for the letter G and somewhere with a little bit of culture, a little bit highbrow, a little bit of class. You can forget your Gooch streets or your Golders Greens or even your Greenwiches because today I'm in Green Park. So Green Park is one of the large London parks. I think this is Green Park. I mean, I'm probably not being stupid, it's not Hyde Park or Regent's Park, is it? This is actually Green Park. Why would it be called Green Park on the tube station if it wasn't Green Park? Hmm. I'll have to check that out. If I'm incorrect, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. But anyway, you get off at Green Park tube station, you've got the Ritz looking at you as you get out and uh, you wander through this lovely Parkland area and, uh, and at the other end of it is Buckingham Palace. So what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd wander down past Buckingham Palace, maybe down the Mall, see what else is around there, find some little, nice little alleys and some lovely architecture and try and get a flavour of the area. So let's have a little look around Green Park first on the way down to Buckingham Palace. I should say that I've, uh, I've still got the 35mm f2.8 on my Sony a7R3. Uh, I certainly feel a lot more at ease here than I did on, on, in, at Fish Island and Hackney. Um, it's a bit more, a bit less threatening here, should I say. A lot more touristy. A very different feel, isn't it? taking street photos in a park. I'm not really sure quite how that works, but uh, two sets of feet under that sign make for a good shot. I don't quite know. Put the tree out of the way. central this really there's a lot of photographs and selfies going on here space there on the right and there on the left. See, there's one woman here with all that negative space on the left. It's 
the mound. It's nice like that, look. down this way see what we can find maybe find some little side streets or something rather than rather than the obvious if I could get someone sort of which gives us a shitty background isn't it? Really is a shitty background. but it's never going to get empty, is it? at the hairlet but I don't think anyone's going to walk across it unfortunately. Oh, back into a little bit of nice light. So busy though. to shoot in directly into the light. I know in an earlier couple of shots you might have seen a bit of uh, a bit of flare from the sun but I think it's, I think in street photography is perfectly okay. It's almost a good thing. My daughter loves Hamilton. Wonder what the first rule of flight club is. Hmm. 
best not talk about it. reflection shot here. You can kind of just actually see them the other side. Good work. There's a lot of security in places around here, like private security, guarding the little shopping malls and bits and pieces. I wonder if they are uh, a bit of a target at the moment for... Great reflections down here. We stand still for long enough. I've done a loop, I think I've done a loop. Two people, no good. Maybe. There we go, there we go. So that's it for me from Green Park and uh, Buckingham Palace and the surrounds. Uh, I did a big loop in the end and I just wandered back into the park. So I don't think I'm going to get any more shots, but if I do, I'll put them up at the end. Uh, it's interesting, interesting using the light a, a little bit. I think uh, some of that sort of contra jour with the, with the sun directly into the, into the camera uh, at times. Not the usual stuff really, actually, not the usual stuff. Uh, a little bit more sort of catching the tourists and maybe just trying to get a bit more candid sort of people wandering through the shop type of images if that makes sense uh, anyway i hope you've enjoyed it thanks for sticking around till the end uh, if i get any more shots in between here and the tube station i'll let you know but i doubt it uh, anyway thanks very much for watching H next week or next time see you soon <laughs>